Is it not Black Lives Matter or is it African American Lives Matter? It's both. Oh, really? Okay, I thought it was BLM, so I say blacks. Okay. He was just okay. Not too much, Andrew. Do you believe that you have some sort of privilege that skews your view on other people's lives? Because personally, I don't believe you could step in my shoes as a black woman and relate and understand the things. So I feel like it's not fair for you to choose what I get to do with my life because I'm a black woman in a white society. What does being black have to do with truth? Because there are different things that we experience, like and my truth might not be like truth. What? Did you get into college easier? than I do? What? <laughs> yes, you get jobs and internships that white kids don't get. Oh, poor, you have poor a, white people. You have, a, you have entire movements dedicated to your race. They're so, like, okay. Right. Sir, do you remember the Those movements are to get rights. You're crazy. Okay, so, do, you, do you not believe in racism? Do, of course racism exists. The Democrat Party is still alive and well. Do you think people are racist against white people? Uh, of all the time. All the time. That's his a definition. Affirmative action is racism against white people. Yes. Okay. And Asians as well. And Asians, that's right. So I, I do have a question in that sense. If affirmative action is racism, why are most colleges predominantly white? Why are they most predominantly white? Why are most colleges, public colleges, are predominantly yeah, white? We are a, we're a majority white country. Hey, you realize that, right? Uh, so, so colleges are the depiction of the nation. Okay. And actually, blacks on campus are disproportionate more than their population in certain areas, in certain campuses, than their population. Because of affirmative action. In HBCUs? C certain campuses. About? Are you talking about HBCUs? So, but let me just ask a more broad philosophical question. Why does skin color matter at all? Why should we care about because it? Because of the society we live in. Because well, hold on. But no. You're dismissing anything that has ever happened to someone of color Let me ask you a question. What can, what can you do, or what can I do that you can't do? What law? Affirmative, affirmative action, action is lowering of test standards and quota Wrong. for a quota. You're an idiot. No, it's I'm not. Tell you it's the way it works. It's the way it works. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to entertain fallacies. No, no, tell me, you, you why? Won't entertain me because I just let him why? talk. We have to hear your yeah, it's Why? It's fine. Why does skin color matter? I believe. I believe skin color matters because of the society. He's not being respectful. Do you know how? And I guess it goes into critical race theory. Yes, it is. Because of the society we have lived in, race is a factor. If from the beginning of time race wasn't a factor and there was never anybody who was oppressed because of their race, I feel like it would not play a part in anything that we do. But because literally less. Charlie, they were interrupting you. I was. You believe I'm black on black. Black crime. Uh -huh. He is right. Okay. So do you? So back to our previous argument that was interrupted. Um. So in the sense of what, like, like I was saying, you don't believe like because of the history and because somebody races have been oppressed, you don't believe like race plays a part in things, and you don't believe like. No, no, no. That's not true. No, no. So you know, I, do you know who Thomas Sowell is? You know who Thomas Sowell is? No. I really encourage you to look. Thomas Sowell's great. He's one of the best black economists of the 20th century. Grew up in Harlem, and he's done the best research in the 1940s, 1950s, and 60s black community. And essentially, his argument is that black America was experiencing a renaissance in the 50s and 60s, despite discrimination. Yes. Now, the one part that I would agree with. But, however, it's not the black community as a whole. It's Harlem's black community. There are, this Chicago too, but let's pretend you're right, okay? The one argument that I would agree with, and I'm, I'm against systemic racism arguments, the one that I would say, you know what, there was something very wrong, is when Democrat Lyndon Baines Johnson came in and destroyed the black nuclear family. If there was one part where I could say, you know what, that was unjust and that has to be undone, it's when Lyndon Baines Johnson went in to the Great Society program with the intent to destroy the black nuclear family. Okay. So in that sense, do you believe the war on drugs also played a part? Or do not you not really. believe in no. the war on drugs? Well, look, I mean, I believe we should be very harsh on drugs. But I think there is, I would give some merit to the argument of some government agencies peddling cocaine in the inner cities. There is, there is evidence to show that. I'm not going to debate it. Do I think it has the, so for example, like there's one number that I'm fascinated with, right? Single motherhood in the black community was about 28% in 1945. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. Now it's around 65 to 70%. Yeah. Why? Are we more racist than we were in 1945? No. Okay. No. So then what happened? The war on drugs. Okay, the fair enough. The war on drugs. Um, the demolish, demolishing the nuclear family, in a sense. Right. And I believe due to the history that's happened, it, racism is still very prevalent in a lot of this systemic, I mean, 
a lot of the systems that yeah. are in America, correct? Yeah. So no, no, of course not. But I'm actually I was actually caught by your shirt. You know Malcolm X was super pro life. Yes. I I think Malcolm X could teach a lot of the black movement something because it, 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 more so than Martin Luther King, because Malcolm X. I'm, I'm getting there. Ma Malcolm X. I, I, they, some people miss, don't describe him correctly mm -hmm. as being violent, right? Mm -hmm. That was a very small part of his literature. Mm -hmm. He was very big on trying to get Black Ameri America to succeed, to, to succeed despite the Black, yeah. to, despite the white liberal. Yes, and mm, I, not the white liberal. He did say white liberal. Oh, you go look up the Malcolm X white liberal quote. Okay. And so I think that's interesting. Just think about it. Go look up the, what Malcolm X.